Western Pennsylvania and is the Union's final midweek match at home as they hope to secure a much needed win tonight against visiting Columbus Crew S. Now, Dave, in the month of July, four of the five Union's games were on the road. Playing tonight at home is really big for them. They've won five of their last six at home, and during that time, they've outscored their opponents 11-3. to So playing at home might just be what the Union need right now. And the two guys you got to keep an eye out for are Ola Kamar up top. He has nine goals and also Justin Miram. He'll be a threat on the wing for Pearl Holter's unit as well. But speaking of the Union for just a moment, Marissa, it's important to have homegrown players flourish throughout the system. We've seen it with Derek Jones. Austin Trusty, both playing with the U.S. under-20s at their World Cup in South Korea, but also Anthony Fontana made some recent news in signing a first-team contract on July 17th. A 17-year-old from Newark, Delaware, he will officially, though, join the Union roster on January 1st. He's played for Steel FC 13 times, eventual number eight, a box-to-box -box player for the Philadelphia Union. When I was calling Steel FC games last year, Marissa, he made his debut. At FC Cincinnati, he played about 16, 17 minutes of that matchup. He was just 16 years old at Nippert Stadium in Cincinnati in front of a almost a sold-out crowd. There is going to be a lot of good things to come from Anthony Fontana. Remember that name. Well, it certainly sounds like the ceiling is very high for him. I mean, when I was 16, I was nowhere near playing a professional sport. So the union are really <laughs> dedicating themselves to find those great young talents in the area. Of course, that's what the academy is for. All right, let's take a look at some key MLS games. These are all matchups on Saturday. Atlanta United hosts Orlando City SC, who just acquired Dom Dreyer from Sporting KC. New York Red Bulls, who have won their last three, host the Montreal Impact. And it's a battle of second in the East against second in the West between the Fire and Sporting KC. And DC United, who's coming off a loss to Houston, travels to Minnesota United. Now turning to our player focus, Harris McDunian and has two goals this season, but more importantly, Marissa, his seven assists have really showcased how crucial he is in the build-up. Tonight he'll have to stretch the middle third of the field and keep Will Trapp and Artur off the ball in the Crew SC transition game. And moving up the field, you know, for El Sino, not his best performance on Saturday. Jim Curtin said he was very disappointed in himself. They want him to stay on those touchlines, keep the field wide, as we said earlier, pull Columbus outside. But, you know, Jim Curtin also told him, have a short-term memory. If and when a mistake happens, forget about it and keep moving on. CJ Sapong missed Saturday's game at Columbus with an ankle injury, but he's back at the starting 11 at the number 9 and expects Sapong to use his physicality at that spot and help his winger stretch the crew back three. If the Union can get wide, there definitely should be some open space tonight. And I just want to set up, Marissa, for just a moment on the backs for the Union, in particular, Wine Altum and also Gaddis. They're expected to get high in this matchup, and you might see some overlap between the two of them in this one. Well, they both have great speed. I think Jim Curry really wants to use that as a factor for the union and get some play developing out of the back. And also stopping Ola Kamar and Justin Mir, that is huge, along with Kakuta Mane. He is someone that that union back line along with Medunianin and Bedoya, they'll have to come back and aid that back four for the Philadelphia Union tonight. Well, the union are looking to capture its sixth home win this season against Crew SC, who has lost four of its last five on the road. I'll see you at halftime. Marissa will be on the sidelines with J.P. Delacabra and Tommy Smith coming up next. Enjoy the first half, everyone.